Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Dan, and today um, I come to you from the gym. Why? Because I want to tell you how exercise is really not the biggest part of this equation. Uh, you probably have all heard this, and it's true. The basic part of the whole equation is your nutrition, what you do in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen, right? So today I want to talk about nutrition, um, but I want to give you an analogy that will hopefully help you better understand the relationship that you need to have with food. Um, and, and today's superhero analogy uh, I think I'm going to use is Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow, um, and Hawkeye, um, uh, Agent Barton. So if you've seen the movies, probably going to understand this analogy. If you're a comic book guy, you're going to be like, man, he's way off uh, because there's so much background in the comic books, right? Um, but basically, I'm going to try and make this simple and sweet. Um, Agent Romanoff, the Black Widow, she has a certain set of skills, right? Deception. Um, she's manipulative. She's... Uh, this is her background, of course. Before she became an Avenger, she used these skills for evil. Um, and, and I want to compare that scenario to some of the things that we put in our body. Artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, and these things. They manipulate your body into believing that it's getting something that it's not. And for those of you who don't understand artificial, um, it, is, it is something that's going to still create a response as if you're getting sugar, and your body expects to get something, but there's nothing there. Zero calories, right? But what it does is it increases cravings. Um, so very manipulative. Um, so what you have to do in this whole process of nutrition, and today we start the three-day refresh. Had my Shakeology and my fruit today, feeling good, getting ready to do just a light workout. And then we'll go on from here and take three days of rest as we go through the whole nutrition. But with your body, you have to build a trust relationship with your body. Um, and I'm going to use the analogy of the Black Widow, Agent Romanoff, and Agent Barton, Hawkeye. Um, there's no way that they trusted each other at first. Uh, Barton was actually sent to kill her, and he chose not to. But you know that it wasn't as soon as he made that decision that he was like, oh, yeah, I trust her. We're good to go. It took time of building a relationship before they became close friends and could actually trust one another. Okay. So... The analogy I want to make today is the, re the relationship, the trust that you need to build between you and your body. Think of your body as a separate individual. Think of your marriage. Think of your best friend. Think of uh, your kids. Think of all these relationships that you have in your life. What does it take to build trust? It takes time. It takes consistency. And it takes action, right? You have to prove to them that you're going to do what you say. You have to do the exact same thing with your body. Your body expects to get food on a regular basis. It needs to trust that it's going to get food on a regular basis. So you hear us talk about eat five meals a day or three meals and two snacks um, and space them out. And that's what this refresh is doing is spacing our food out. We don't get as much food, but it's spacing it out a couple hours apart. And the reason for that is your body has to start to trust that every couple hours it's going to get fuel. Nutrition is what runs your body. You get nutrition from food. So if you don't eat food, you don't get fuel, your body doesn't run. It was built to run on fuel. Okay, so if it doesn't trust that it's going to get the fuel that it needs, it's not going to operate the way that you want it to operate. Um, so think of that, you know, is, is um, and, and here's the thing. Say you don't eat breakfast, say you don't eat lunch, and then you eat this huge dinner, and you're like, oh, I get plenty of calories at dinner. Okay, well, your body all day is going, when am I going to get it? When am I going to get it? When am I going to get it? And then at dinner time, you eat, and boom, it's like, ooh, there it is. So then it goes into the mode of survival, and it's like, man, I don't know when the next meal is coming. It could be 24 hours from now. So it's going to go ahead and take all the nutrition it can. It's going to take all the food it can, and it's going to store it in your body. And what does it store it as? The slowest form of burning energy that it can, and that's fat. So that's why your body holds on to fat, because if you don't feed your body, it can survive the longest on fat. It was built to survive. It was designed that way. The only way that you're going to get out of that cycle is to, to build trust. And that means that you eat breakfast, you eat a snack, you eat dinner or lunch, you eat a snack, you eat dinner, and you make it good stuff that your body can use. Uh, so we go back to the whole thing of artificial. Zero calories may be great, but there's nothing that your body can use. Your body uses nutrition to grow yourself, to heal yourself, um, and to give you energy. And if it can't use anything that you put in it, then you're not going to feel those things. You're not going to have those results. So you have to get to the point where, okay, now food's coming in on a regular basis and your body's going, oh, hey, guess what? 
I'm going to get food two hours from now. I trust her. We've been doing this for, you know, a week, week and a half now. I get it. She's going to be feeding me. He's going to be feeding me every couple hours. So you know what? All this fat that I'm holding on to, I don't really need it. Here, take it. And it burns it off as energy and it uses it. Okay? And that's why you have to have protein. You have to have carbs. You have to have fat. Some people go to this no fat, no carb, no whatever diet. That's usually not a good thing. They were all designed for a reason. You need them. You need them in good, good proportions and good balance. So all of these things have to come together for your body to trust you, okay? Just the same way that um, in this group, I'm sure the first day you, you, you met me, first day you met your coach, you're probably like, I don't know about this guy. He's trying to sell me something. He's trying to do something. But as you stay in here longer, as you get to know your coach better, as you build a relationship, as you watch these videos, you might be saying to yourself, okay, I get it. This guy, this team, they really do want to help. So I need to just follow these steps. So a week ago, you may not have been interested in what we had to say as much. As this week goes on, I hope you're understanding that we're here to help you. And that's what this whole process is about. So I hope that you take that lesson. It's a six-minute video. Totally made it way longer than I thought I was going to. I hope I didn't get too far apart, but ask me about it. Nutrition is a tricky thing, but it's 70 to 80% of this equation. You have to build trust, and then you can have a great relationship with your body, and then you will start to see those results. Make sure you eat enough, eat throughout the day, and eat real stuff. That's the lesson for today. You can do this. doesn't mean it's going to be easy. We take baby steps, and as we get better, uh, we'll end up seeing those results. Feeling healthier, being stronger, impacting people. Stay strong. Have a great day. You guys are awesome.